What's up guys, it's your boy Mike, Hawk Crypto Mining, and today I'm going to show you how I repurposed my Helium Miner into a Flux Node with a little bit of help from my boy Yeti and Max Voltage, I was able to figure it out. I'm gonna walk through the steps and things that I had trouble with, so without further ado guys, let's roll that intro, let's get into the video. Okay, so when I took apart this helium miner, right, I'm thinking there's gotta be something more sophisticated in here to run this. Guys, it was just a Raspberry Pi with a Rack Wireless hat on it. That's it. So I was like, oh, cool. So when I was talking to Max Voltage about it, he's like, dude, why don't you just repurpose it to a flux node? I'm like, I can do that, right? So I was like, cool. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it. Guys, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download the right version of Ubuntu for the Raspberry Pi. Now, the Flux node does not use the latest version. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to download, you're gonna hit Raspberry Pi. Okay, so what I did was download the imager, which is right here, okay? You can click the imager, download the imager. Now, you're gonna use version 20, point zero four point four okay that's what you need to run the flux node you can't use the new version understand that because the new version does not have the mongo database when you're done with that you're gonna need to get a 64 gigabyte micro SD and you're gonna have to flash the SD with Ubuntu okay you need at least 64 gigabytes all right now this is the one that I purchased it works really good I have it plugged in now there is a micro SD slot on the Raspberry Pi I'm gonna show you where it is okay so I zoomed in a little bit here this is the back of the Raspberry Pi here's the micro SD slot okay this is where that's gonna go all right now if you're gonna use the argon case I'm gonna show you exactly what you need for that okay so now this is the argon one m2 case for the Raspberry Pi 4 now guys this is what I used I really like this case uh, Max Voltage also uses this. He likes it as well. It comes with a built-in fan. You can go through some of these things here. It's really, really good. I like it a lot. Um, I don't have the remote, but I guess you can get it. I don't know if it comes with it. Maybe this one comes with it. Maybe now it comes with it. I don't know, but I like using this case. So if you're gonna use this case and you're gonna do exactly what I did, I would get this, guys. It's worth the money. It's only 50 bucks. Um, you know, or you don't, you don't really need it to run it. Um, but I suggest that you do because it's got fans built in and all that other stuff and it's really really good so if you are if you're gonna buy the argon case okay you want to use this stick now make sure you seat it in properly I also had that problem okay where it wasn't seated all the way make sure that you follow the instructions on how to seat it in if you need help you know let me know and I can walk you through it. I'm sorry guys, I've already put it together. It's really not hard guys, it's very, very easy to do. It's a couple screws, you pop some things in, you do some programming and it's done. So, okay, so let's move into the programming side. Okay, so here's the video that I watched. This is a great video, uh, he explains everything, but here's where I had a little bit of a problem. Now bear with me, I'm gonna try to fast forward here. He walks through all the steps on how to set up the Argon case and everything. Make sure, I'm gonna drop a link to this video. Make sure you watch it if you want the step-by-step -step guide. You're gonna have to watch this video, guys. It has the step-by-step -step guide on how to do it, but it's very easy. Now I'm gonna show you though where I had the problem with my pie, okay? So I'm gonna fast forward here. This is where I had the problem here. Now, what I did was I had to remove the UID equals 1001 and the comma. This is where my major problem was when we were having problems trying to connect, right? Major problem here. This took a week for us to figure out after troubleshooting. So big shout out to Yeti for helping me out with this. Uh, he actually figured it out. So. Um, if you guys are running into a problem, this is what worked for me. I removed the UID equals 1001. Now, I don't know what version of a Pi he's using, uh, but with the Raspberry Pi 4 2018, the one that I have, this, I had to take this out. Okay, everything else was correct except this. And understand that it does, it's not going to work. It, it will fail to mount with this. Okay, that's what happened with me. So without giving my information away, this is the screen that you're gonna have to go to. Now see, status says confirmed, finally. So if it says confirmed, you're up and you're running. All right, but let me show you where I had an issue. So we'll go back to the video real quick, right? And we're gonna fast forward through this. So your screen's gonna come up here. It's gonna ask you to enter your username and you're gonna have to follow the steps. Okay, 
understand that the private key, the keys are different. So we're gonna go back to my Zellcor wallet. You're gonna go to apps, Zellcor ID, and then you're gonna hit your keys. The keys are different. Do you see this number here? Here's your private Zell ID, right? Okay, as you can see, mine starts with L4, right over here, right? Then, there's another one here that starts with 1LL, okay? Make sure you guys are paying attention when you get to this screen. For our flux note. Okay, ask me how I know. After you guys are done with all that, you're gonna need to stake your flux. So what you're gonna have to do for the cumulus node, you have to send a thousand flux to yourself. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory. If you don't know how to do it, um, literally just send it to yourself in the Zellcore wallet. Then when you're done, you're gonna have to monitor the confirmations in the block explorer. Now this is the flux block explorer. On the bottom here, you'll see the confirmations. Before you can start your node, you will need a hundred confirmations. Don't start your node without the confirmations. So just throwing that one out there. All right, guys, so here's the Argon case. I really like it, it's very small. Now, if you wanna compare it to like a mouse, like look how small it is, right? So it's very small, it looks big in the pictures online, uh, but listen, I really like this thing. It's got a fan built in, so it vents out the heat, and it's been running really good. It's you know just one ethernet, one plug, you have HDMI ports here. Let me try to turn it around for you so you can see. There you go. It comes with this device that you're gonna need to connect it. So it works really good, guys. I really like it. It was a good recommendation from Max Voltage. Max, thanks again for all your help with this. Yeti, Tains, thank you guys so much for helping me with it. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you like it. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. If I missed anything, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure I covered most of it. Um, make sure you watch that video on Flux, the Raspberry Pi setup to go through all the steps for Linux. If I would have did that, this video would have been about 45 minutes long, and I wouldn't do that to you guys, but I'll put the link below in the description for everything. Let me know, and have a good day, guys.